Okay, this is the route description for leg two. Uh, you leave, no, sorry, leg three. So you leave checkpoint two, uh, cross over to style, and then you continue along the path and along the top, and you go down downhill. But this will be signposted as um, it's not on the uh, Vanguard way. So it does say on here. Yep. You could probably just that 11 B, but yeah. <laughs> Okay, so um, it's 0.46 miles from the checkpoint. You've come down a lovely descent, awesome views along a grass grass trail over a stile, and you get onto a gravel driveway. You want to veer around to the left. Okay, yeah, good point. Yeah. So uh, we're going this way. Uh, about 60 metres, 70 metres along the driveway you'll get to a gate it may be open but don't go through that gate it says private turn right where it says the footpath sign so continue along the footpath yeah. so you've uh, come down a, uh, a nice gentle hill along a, uh, a forest uh, it's a, just a um, four wheel drive track the four wheel drive track bends around to, to go to a gate that says private road you veer off to the right so you just veer to the right onto a single track. 0 0.93 miles. You've um, come up a uh, driveway and come out to a, a road. You want to turn right along the road and run along the road. Do not go straight ahead. There is a footpath and a wooden gate straight ahead, it's tempting to go straight ahead but do not turn right along the road. 1.25 miles, you've continued along the the, the uh, country lane, you get to a T-junction, you want to veer slightly to the left and start heading up, can't see what it's called, but you'll see a wooden gate and a stile 30 metres to the left. So uh, go over the wooden stile, which is just to the right of the gate. Yeah, so you want to cross the grass field, just go straight ahead and through the metal gate. Um, no, straight ahead. Yeah, and once you've crossed that, uh, gone over the, through the gate, metal gate, just keep on going straight ahead. Um, ignore the gate to the right. One point five eight miles you've gone through a second gate into another field. If you veer slightly to the right, if you look carefully you'll just see a little gap in the hedge and you go down and you see the stile, footpath marking and a little footbridge. Cross the foot yeah, cross the footbridge, it's slippery. Well it was for us. <laughs> That's where and you're actually passing through uh Someone's lovely backyard and an amazing house with a water turbine on the left. Yeah, this is a really nice property. So you're passing right through their, their section. It's called the mill and you want to exit um, out through their gate and then continue straight ahead uh, past the bush straight up the hill, not out the driveway. But you join the driveway but that bends to the left and you go straight up the hill there is a footpath sign. 1.71 miles you come out off the footpath uh, cross a road and then you've got you go up a farm track uh, sorry a farm driveway Portobello farm uh, so you head up this farm track and shortly we rejoin the Vanguard way and there's a sign saying Ashdown Forest strictly no cycling so you cross the road up the farm track 1.86 miles so you've come along the the driveway the farm driveway unsealed driveway and uh, the driveway bends to the left we definitely need a Vanguard Way. We've just rejoined the Vanguard Way. We need a marker post to show this is the Vanguard Way because we veer off the forest track. So we leave the driveway. 
1.91 miles so you've gone along this uh, lovely grass single track or track you get to another Y junction you want to take right yeah so take the right fork and it sort of goes gently up 2.11 miles you've gone along this lovely track just before the track veers to the left there's a tiny track that goes off to the right it's, uh, it doesn't look as though it's anything so um, I'll probably put a marker here because it should have it definitely needs a Vanguard way marker so I'll make a note uh, to get a Vanguard marker post 2.20 miles um, so you've followed that skinny narrow trail and then you've come out on the side of a cricket pitch you'll see an old uh, a wooden pavilion cricket pavilion you want to go past the back of the so straight ahead at this Y junction so we're going straight up here <laughs> and then you go past the back of the cricket pavilion not actually directly behind the cricket pavilion just to the side of it and then you come out and you get to a uh, lane you'll see if you cross the lane it's a bit confusing here <laughs> again we need loads of Vanguard way marker posts because um, you've got about a choice of what? five ways to go well, yeah, five. you want to go so you get onto the road and it's don't continue along the lane don't take the one slightly the foot forest track to the left you want the second forest track which is straight in front of you so that was 2.2 four miles a uh, really confusing bit but you want to go straight the one pretty well 90 degrees to the road and it goes gently up and then around 2.38 miles you come out to a road and you can actually finally see a VGW Vanguard way marker that says to go straight ahead so you go straight across the road you can see the forest track continues so uh, it says horse route by permit only so if you continue along the forest track but not for too far because it's going to do a sharp lift in about 50 meters time 2.41 miles you come out to a uh, sort of crossroads forest track crossroads you want to turn left a sharp left so not straight ahead that will take you down the hill you want to do sharp left and contour around uh, keep it the same height on the hill 2.53 miles you've come along the uh, grass farm track grass the forest track and you'll see a forest track that goes down the hill to the right so you want to take turn right so 90 degree turn to turn right down the forest forest track the path 2.83 miles you've come down the track forest track and then you come out to the golf course uh, you want to the, the Vanguard way continues on the right hand side of the golf course you don't actually go on the fairway the track continues down the right hand side 3.3 miles you've continued along that forest track and you come out next to a, uh, a green um, you just keep on going straight ahead either through a little stream or you go across the tiny wooden bridge yeah 3.35 miles just after you've crossed that tiny wooden bridge you cross a driveway you'll see the Vanguard Way disc telling you to there slightly to the left so cross the driveway and then follow the path the forest path which fares to the left yeah so 3.67 miles you've just followed the it's a sort of it's not totally obvious but it's reasonably clear that there's a track you're not going on the fairways you're staying either running directly across them on the path or you're staying mostly staying to the right so you want to turn you'll see a golf tee you just turn to the right or just stay on the right 3.78 miles so you've run down the side of the golf course and then you cross you get to a sealed driveway uh, 
it's on a gentle downhill you want to turn right and a marker post would definitely help here so we'd need a vanguard way marker post to turn right and go along the shell driveway gentle downhill yeah. Yeah. No, 3.86 miles. You've just crossed a uh, small, probably won't notice it, concrete bridge. You get to a Y junction in the in the lane. Well, it's actually the driveway lane. You want to turn left. It is signposted VGW. Turn left and go up Primrose, up Primrose Lane. 3.98 miles. You've reached the end of Primrose Lane, but there's a footpath that continues straight ahead so go up straight ahead up the footpath it's a gravel gravel footpath 4.02 miles you've reached uh, another driveway seal driveway next to um, it looks like a garage wooden garage there's a tiny single narrow path straight ahead so take that single tiny path through some bushes so continue through the along the path through some trees and you're just staying you'll come out you'll see the golf course again on your left but you're just staying on the skinny path through the trees which is on the very right of the golf course so again you're not on any fairways you're just to the very right of the golf course 4.24 miles you've come out of the lovely single track um, and you've uh, You'll see a post in front that says VGW, Vanguard Way, so you turn right. So uh, you turn right down another little uh, gravel forest track to join onto the road. And then you're going to descend down the, uh, down the road. You reach the road, uh, not sure what it's called, but you just continue down this quiet residential street. 4.45 miles, so you've come down the residential street on the left probably best to stick to the pavement on the left and just as the pavement stops on the left you'll see what we call in Sussex a uh, uh, oh I forgot what we call it in Sussex a twitting that's what they call it in Sussex you'll see a twitting to everybody else it's an alley so we go down the alley or the alleyway or if you're from Sussex a twitting it's signed, signed DGW 4.60 miles you've come out of the twist and along a uh, a footpath a concrete footpath and you join onto the road at the junction of school lane but it's the main it's the B road the main road that takes you into the village centre of Forest Road so you want to run along so turn left and run along the main B road into Forest Road yeah, probably best to cross the B road right there as you as you join it by the phone booth. It's easier to cross. 4.77 miles. You've reached the village green of Forest Road. Well, it's sort of a little park directly in front of the Forester's Arms pub, which is closed down, unfortunately. And this is the checkpoint. End of leg three. So this is checkpoint three just at the edge of the village green. Oh, just 